Hey guys, it's Kilby Brown, the property at New York City. Teton. Hope that you are having a fantastic day. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning. I've um, kind of finished up a good part of my daily walk. Um, something I really kind of put into place um, during COVID. So I'm just gonna chat today a little bit about a uh, real estate and COVID pivot. Um, never much of a daily walker. Actually, it was the key my father's exercise program for many, many years that helped him um, keep off a lot of weight. Uh, he used to walk her dog when I was growing up every night, seven days a week. He, um, he walked a little rust here, Cocker Spaniel. Um, after dinner, uh, seven days a week. And um, later, in, later in, after my dog passed away, I think my mother's cousin wanted to buy him a little uh, fake leash with a dog on it because they weren't used to seeing my father walk around with, um, without a dog. So sometime, um, I don't know, back in March or April, I kind of, you know, as kind of walked out the door a little bit and tried to get outside because I knew that it wasn't healthy to be inside for 10 hours a day on my computer trying to contact people and uh, discuss New York State real estate. Um, you know, it just wasn't, didn't seem like the right time and uh, I just needed to get out of the house. So that's kind of been a morning ritual of mine. I actually start my day with some uh, breathing techniques. I'll go, I'll go into that another day. I found this guy, Wim Hof, kind of crazy um, Dutch guy. It's about, um, and actually I actually think someone on LinkedIn is who I found it through. Um, kind of like deep breathing and cold exposure and uh, cold showers, cold baths. It's a, basically like an immune thing. So I have um, wake up, start my day with the um, about 20 minutes of breathing and then boom, um, depending on the day, out the door, um, walk in the neighborhood. Uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays are really good because my wife actually has a personal trainer um, online, which is really cool. So she does that through her phone um, and I go out for an hour and she trains for an hour. And then I get back, we have breakfast, we can start our day and you know, I might exercise and do some other stuff as well, but that's, um, that's kind of how that goes. So going into COVID, I, I had prepared, actually last December, I decided to pick up my, uh, to try to get my New Jersey license. What's that? I know the area I live here. It'd be easier for me to help some people who wanted to um, to move over. It wasn't gonna be a, a big part of my um, business, but it's something I was uh, you know, looking to do. So I started applying for the exam and uh, going through that process and that kind of got shut down uh, via COVID. But during, um, you know, during this whole COVID adventure, um, I realized that a lot of people were calling me up and saying, Kilby, I know you live in New Jersey. Um, I live on the Jersey City Heights, Union City border, right by Hoboken, North Bergen, Edgewater. Um, and I've done a lot of these, I've done some videos on this stuff on my YouTube channel. But people started calling me up and asking me for advice because they know that, you know, I got it, basically 25 years in this area. I'm originally from Northern New Jersey. Um, I know New York very well because I've always worked in New York, um, basically always worked in New York. Um, but people were asking for my expertise in, um, in New Jersey. Um, not yet licensed um, because uh, I still have to, my test was postponed due to COVID. So hopefully I'll be up and running in a month or so. Um, but I've just been walking the blocks, talking to neighbors, um, having conversations, learning the area, and trying to pass on this information to um, the people I know. You know, some people looking to leave Brooklyn, Manhattan, they're looking for the right move. Maybe they're looking to go out, you know, further into the suburbs. Some people like a closer commute, so some like Jersey City Heights might work really well for them. So this is kind of part of my adventure, which is starting to build a business out here. Um, you know, Mary Zetch and I are not gonna give up our, our New York businesses. We're just kind of adding to our um, existing business. And if I can wake up in the morning, walk around for an hour, you know, every day, see what house is, uh, you know, what house is going in the market, what house might be selling, new construction, just taking a different block, taking a different route and just learning the neighborhood. Well, I don't say learn the neighborhood, I've always learned the neighborhood, but in a real estate sense, learn the neighborhood block by block, person by person, old school, just walking the block. So that's kind of my um, adventure during during COVID. Um, again, with the, uh, I might have mentioned before, I'm on that YouTube 90 day challenge. I think, yes, it was day 58. You gotta get to 91 because I did miss day 11. So that's been a real big, um, really, really interesting thing. 
So that's my story for the morning. I'm also working on a, a workshop with my company um, to do a uh, COVID certification. That way, um, when I'm out there showing uh, or doing open houses, I, um, even though I've already attended some classes, I just wanted to be as on top of it as possible because I want someone to be working with me and Marizetti, I want them to know that we, um, I'm not a doctor, but I know as much as I possibly can about keeping um, you safe, um, keeping the um, place that I'm in safe, just at least as know as much as I possibly can to have a, um, a safe situation to see real estate properties. That's all I got for you today. I really appreciate it. I know this is kind of long, but um, thanks for watching.